G'day everyone, it's Billy here from the Great Southern Region of Western Australia. Well guys, I've just been doing a bit of a tidy up, getting uh, this area sorted out. It's going to be a chicken pen eventually. So I've moved a bit of stuff around. This is going to be part of my chicken pen, that little aviary there when I'm working on. But I'm also going to have some, probably, um, some fence posts along here guys, around um, three on each side. So it's going to be a proper enclosed chicken pen underneath this beautiful Tagasasti tree. And that's my little magpie nipper. Come to say hello. Um, but anyway guys, it's looking really nice. So I'll just show you what I'm doing at the moment. Alright fellas, so, so this is a beautiful Tagas the Tagasasti tree from the it's a native of the Canary Islands. I have done a video recently about the Tagasasi tree, guys, so I'll put the link below. Check it out. It's really, it's a good uh, informative video about the Tagasasi tree, why you should use it. Perfect for bees, bee, uh, beehives, apparently, for honey. So you can hear all the bees now, probably, getting all the beautiful pollen. The nectar out of all the flowers. So this is in flower at the moment. Um, it's more or less in full flower. But uh, perfect for a beautiful picnic spot. You know, like in your backyard. For setting up a nice table and chairs and having your friends around for coffee and all that. Coffee, tea, cake. It doesn't flower all year round, guys. It only flowers probably for one or two months. Um, but it's a beautiful shady tree. Even when the flowers aren't on it, like all these white flowers, it's just full of beautiful green foliage and creates beautiful shade. Um, but it also drops all of these flower petals. It will also drop, you know, thousands of these flower petals. That's what I'm doing at the moment, raking it up for beautiful compost. Um, but what I'm also doing right now, guys, is I'm just setting up all these beautiful rocks. All these rocks are rocks what I find out rubbish dumps. I've got them all around my yard, my ponds and everything else, but... I'm just setting up these rocks because underneath this Takasasi tree is all tree roots. But don't let this deter you guys. It's very, very rare for this to happen. It's probably from me raking too much. So I've exposed the tree roots at the bottom of this Takasasi tree. So whatever you do, don't let it deter you. And this, these trees are really, really fast growing. You know, within probably a couple of years, you'll have it as big as my tree. My, this tree's were around 10 years old. I didn't plant this tree here guys, so I was planted probably just from a, a bird dropping and thankfully I let it grow. They're really, really easy to grow guys, so I've got to, you know, they just grow from the seeds. I didn't plant these again, the seeds have just dropped into this pot and these are Tagasasi tree saplings. So they're really, really easy to grow. You can't fail, so it's a Mediterranean type tree, I suppose you could say, and these are warm climate. It is frost resistant, but as you can see it's a beautiful weeping tree and so forth. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful guys, I love this tree. But uh, like I say guys, um, check out the video below. But underneath this pile of rocks here guys, so eventually in the next few days it's going to be a beautiful big mound of rocks going all the way around this tree. So I've covered the roots with soil. And uh, just to cover all the roots, as you can see here, here's some tree roots here. So these are exposed from me raking. And you can just break them, it doesn't matter. The, the root's really soft as well. Um, and that they drop seeds, perfect for chickens and ducks and quails. I'll fix it up in a minute, guys. But, but anyway, here's a main root here like I say fellas it's been exposed to me raking the soil okay so don't let that deter you don't let that deter you from um, growing a beautiful growing or planting a tagasasti tree in your backyard there's nipper playing it's like a little kid but under here fellas it's like kind of like you know a mangrove type root system and this is very uncommon. Once again, it's only from me raking. I've exposed all the roots. So basically what I'm doing now is going to cover all the mound of soil with all these beautiful rocks. I've got probably 
hundreds of these rocks in my front yard what I've collected from rubbish dumps so it's just going to be a beautiful spot for chickens to get up on eventually uh, frogs to maybe um, you know live underneath the rocks and so forth I don't know I just want to neaten it up make it look nice and tidy uh, yep so that's about it guys that's what I'm doing at the moment just raking and fixing up this spot here with beautiful rocks and like I say these rocks are just going to surround this whole mound of soil and go all around the back of this tree trunk here just so it's all covered so anyway guys I'll continue going just raking tidying up and eventually there's going to be some nice pine like I say some pine posts like these ones here like this here I've got, already got them once again rubbish dump finds got some beautiful big long ones up the backyard and I'm going to have six or eight of these here and have a proper enclosed chicken pen so I can finally get my own chickens so alright guys thanks for watching really really appreciate it and uh, yeah so I'm just raking up and sorting out my future sweet potato garden but if you want to check out my gardening videos my vegetable garden guys my, my whole garden check out the links below and you'll see what I do to keep myself busy so I've got to you know this is what kind of saves me guys it keeps me motivated and uh, yeah it's beautiful especially when the sun's shining when the sun's shining not shining that's when I kind of struggle I hate it when the sun's not shining but it's a beautiful day today about 16 or 17 degrees Celsius and just tidying up all right guys thanks for watching and we'll chat soon see ya